What's up, homies? Welcome to another episode of the Homies Real Estate Podcast. This is your host, Anthony. I'm Angel. I'm a realtor. I'm a lender. And hopefully together we can break down this crazy real estate market. It's the beginning of the month. What time is it, Angel? It is market update time. It's time for the Orange County Real Estate Market Update. The numbers for November just came in. We're going to break them down, give our projections, give a little bit of tips, and then... Voila, the podcast is over. With that said, I'm gonna go just right into it. You know, rocket rounds like we typically do, and then we'll digest it afterwards. Median sales price in Orange County increased from 910,000 in October to 925,000 in November, right? Prices don't tend to increase so much in the holiday season, so this is a little surprising. When we look at medium price per square foot, right? It increased from 538 in October to 546 in November. I mean, since December, it's gone on a straight rocket ship. It was 449 uh, less than a year ago, and now it's 546, almost $100 increase. Medium price per square foot is also a really strong indication of whether prices are going down or not, because I'm sure everyone wants to pay a specific amount for a square footage home, right? Like a 12,000 or 1200 square foot home, right? They don't care so much about the median sales price going up, right? They just care more about the space of the home they're going to be living in. So yes, really good indication here of whether prices are going up. And boy, it doesn't look like it, right? When we look at active listings, active listings drop. That's okay. It's expected. However, it's the lowest it's ever been and quite by a lot, right? Like in November, we typically see somewhere in the ballpark of, you know, five to six thousand listings right now we're at 2700 it's about half as many listings as we typically see right so this is a little concerning here if you're a buyer when you look at inventory month supply right if there was no more homes listed in orange county it would take right now just one month for the current inventory on the market that's available to be bought to be sold right just one month this is the lowest that we've ever seen. Um, actually, last October was also one month, right? So uh, one month is extremely low in a balanced market. We're talking five to six months. In a buyer's market, we're talking six plus months. In the last five years, we haven't been in a buyer's market or even a balanced market, right? The highest we've seen in the last five years is 3.9 months in July 2019. But boy, we're about four times less than that peak just two years ago. And then when we look at median days on market, right? Another indication of how competitive the market is. Right now we're sitting at eight days in uh, Orange County. It was eight days in October. The lowest we've had was seven in June and, and May and April. But eight days is extremely fast, which is why it's extremely important to be pre-approved, pre-qualified, be ready to submit a strong offer and put your best offer pretty much right out of the gate because there's very little time for negotiation. And then lastly, when we look at closed volume, right? Median sales price times, or I guess sales price times the number of homes sold gives you your closed volume. It's at just short of $6 billion. Now this is a record for November. It's about 6% higher than we had last November. It has decreased from June, which was which was our peak, but that's expected. We're in the holiday season, a lot less sellers, a lot less buyers actively looking, which is expected. Now, Angel, what catches your attention here about this market update for Orange County? It just keeps getting more insane every month. Um, right? How you mentioned um, the what's it called? The sales price, median sales price. Yeah. The fact that it went up fifteen thousand dollars in the November month is insane. That is absolutely crazy. Um, I think we predicted uh, it was going to stable out or even. Dec- I think I, I'm pretty sure I p- predicted the decrease. Uh, we um, both predicted eight hundred ninety thousand to end the year, and it doesn't look like it's going to have a thirty-five thousand dollar price drop. <laughs> no, so I don't think that's going to happen. Um, days on market. It's insane that it's still under ten days. It's yeah. Less than nine days, actually. Uh, so yeah, Orange County's—it's—it's it's no joke. It's—it's it's, uh, like Anthony said, be ready for you, you buyers out there looking. I'm sure you guys who are already looking out there, 
um, already have gone through it. But um, man, make, make sure you, you're pre-approved. Uh, make sure you're talking with your realtor, your lender, doing all you can to get your um, offers accepted because you know one one month so one month of supply is extremely extremely low um so um which if you really think about it you know it might be even less next month because there's going to be less homes for sale right um or less listings i would assume because it's the holiday season but yeah just just be ready to uh i mean if you guys already have an experience or anyone that's going to start looking in orange county just be ready for a dog fight out there, man. It's it's crazy. <laughs> that is insane. Yeah, you got to throw the gloves on because yeah. it's gonna be tough. But yeah, I mean, in in our in our reality, like if you're actively looking for a home, just make sure that you are pre-approved, right? And make sure that once you see the home that you really want to put in a strong offer. There's very little room right now for negotiation especially in Orange County. So you wanna make sure that you're pretty much coming out with your highest and best. That's what we call it in real estate. Highest and best meaning, like what is your best offer in regard, regards to price, in regards to terms, in regards to contingencies, right? And, and by the way, like with, with, with saying that is like, some, by you doing your highest and best, sometimes it may take you out of your comfort zone, right? Like you really don't wanna go that high maybe, or you know, you're not, you feel a little weird about the contingency periods. And that's where it's critical that you're working with the realtor you can trust, right? That can tell you, hey, um, I know you may not want to do this, but if you if you really want this home, I'm going to tell you what we're going to need to do to get it, right? So um, it's okay to get out of your comfort zone a little bit in, in a crazy market, and you most likely are going to have to. Yeah, absolutely. I see this happen all the time. You know, buyers stay, state that, hey, I want to keep it under 700000 and they experiment with the market for a month and they'd be like you know what i'm willing to go up to 750 right i'm willing to pay an extra 100 200 dollars a month just because i really want to get into my home right i don't want to be in this process for you know three plus months so yes get in out of your comfort zone 100 angel i agree with that i just want to make sure that it's okay with your budget right at the end of the day if you're not going to be able to make those payments it's not worth stepping out of that comfort zone of course um angel what's your what's kind of your projection for for the rest of the year so i know we both projected that you know orange county is going to go to you know 890 right drop at least you know five to ten thousand but it increased fifteen thousand so like do you think prices are going to increase decrease heading into uh the next month right december and january which is are are the two lowest price months of the year by the way so december and january the two lowest price months of the year you think prices are going to drop heading into those months or no um, I think heading into the next one, I think we will see a little decrease. I'm just going to go 5,000 less. So I think it's what, 925 right now. Yeah. I think 920 so seems a little, seems realistic. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll see, you know, Orange County has been proving us wrong every month and they're <laughs> staying strong. So, um, how I mentioned in the last podcast, November's the most likely the transactions or the deals that close in November, they opened in October, right? So. Still holiday season a little bit with Halloween and stuff, but November is really when holiday season comes in with Thanksgiving and Black Friday and people now getting ready for Christmas. So all the deals open in November, they're gonna close in December and they're gonna reflect on next month's market update. Mm -hmm. So I would assume that the market slowed down a little bit, but who knows with this Orange County market. Um, The one I'm really interested in is the days on market. The fact that it's eight days still is absolutely, you know, insane to me that it's eight days, so. I would I would expect at least one day one 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 increase nine days, um, and I would I thought it was gonna hit double digits for sure by the end of the year, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I think it'll be less than ten days for the rest of the year. Yeah, just so, crazy, and, crazy. <laughs> absolutely. So Angel's projecting a small decrease. Um, I think that we'll we'll hit a decrease as well. I think we're gonna revert to the mean, right? We're gonna revert to you know decreasing in December and January like we typically do. And then this is a big month, a big holiday month. A lot of you know people are holiday shopping. A lot of holidays coming up: Hanukkah, uh, New Year's Eve. We got uh, Chinese New Year's. We got um, uh, regular Christmas. <laughs> like just a lot of holidays coming up. So a lot less uh, um, buyers are going to be actively looking, in my opinion. Not, so, only, not only that, but didn't mean to cut you off. Like not only is it holidays, but with holiday comes with all the buyers that have children they're on vacation right now right 
So they don't want to be running around at houses with their children all day, right? Their children don't want to be doing that. So a lot of those people who have children that are on vacation, they're going to be with them and, and they're going to probably stay away from buying homes at the moment. Absolutely, yeah. And then also we saw a, a more recent surge in COVID as well because of the holidays. So a lot of people are going to want to probably stay you know, away from, from showing property and stuff like that. So uh, there's a lot of reasons to believe that prices should revert to the mean in Orange County and start dropping. You know, and I, I actually think it's going to drop down back down to 910. Uh, another, I think fifteen thousand dollar price drop from where where it is right now. I think days on market is going to increase. I think it's going to be a very favorable month for you buyers. Um, I think prices will continue to increase through the rest of next year. But I think for through the December and January for the next two months, prices will more than likely drop. In my opinion, right? I'm just going to go with historical data, right? Historically, prices tend to drop December and January. I'm just going to. St- what's been happening for the last 10 years and stay that price they're going to drop for those two months um angel what's a a tip for someone right now that's you know looking to you know get their offer accepted in in orange county knowing that this real estate market is really tough like do you do you think they should wait do you think they should purchase now and why yeah um i think you should, I've, Definitely, if you're looking to purchase, purchase now. Kind of, Anthony said it's the holiday season. People are taking breaks. This is your time for you buyers who maybe have had your had a hard time getting accepted. And a lot of you FHA buyers, I know, is a little more competitive. So those are less favorable offers. It's a good chance to get those offers accepted as well. Um, it's time to put the gas, you know, foot on the gas pedal and, and try to make it happen. Um, like I said, be willing to come out of your comfort zone, especially right now when there's less competition be willing to make it happen. Of course, Anthony said, be comfortable with the payment. That's the most important thing. Assuming that is the case, be comfortable, be confident in your realtor. If you're not confident in your realtor, uh, listen to the LA County podcast at the end of it. We and Anthony kind of talk about how it's important to have trust and and have a realtor that's willing to work for you and meet your needs. But along with them meeting your needs, you have to be willing to trust them that they have their best interest and that they're only going to put you, um, they want to put you in that position to win, right? So that's that would be my advice. Yeah, absolutely. So I mean, all in all, what Angel's saying is, if you have the means to purchase, I would 100% recommend purchasing now because it tends to be a better time of the year for you buyers to get a better deal, right? If you don't have you know the means to purchase now, you don't mind paying a small premium. You don't mind having uh, there. Uh, you don't mind there being more options, right? But you're going to be paying a premium for those options. And by all means, wait until you know spring and summer. But just bear in mind that there are going to be a lot more buyers at that time as well. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be a tougher to get your offer accepted, right? So it really is you you pick. You know, try mm-hmm. now where prices tend to be a little bit lower, but there's less options. Or try later when there's more options. You're going to be paying a premium. It's going to be it's going to probably take longer to get your offer accepted, right? With that said, Angel. Uh, or I guess, homies, I want to wish you all the best. Angel, where can we find you? At Your Mortgage Angel on Instagram. At Your Mortgage Angel on Instagram. This guy is a machine. He's going to end the year with, I don't know how many transactions, but 100%, if you need a lender, I'd reach out to him or at least reach out to Angel uh, for any real estate questions you have. He's always been super available. Every transaction that we've done together um, has been a success. Like... It's gone very smoothly, even even with some of the weirdest situations. So I 100%, 100% recommend just giving you know, Angel a little holler if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you, homies, again. I want to wish you all the best. Take care. Stay safe. Thank you. Hey, homies. It's Anthony. This podcast contains my opinions and is for educational purposes only. It does not guarantee any projections and should not serve as a basis for any purchase or sale in real estate. Thank <laughs> you.